Hi all, it is Friday and I am back at the IVF clinic. Uh, today is my doctor's appointment um, to sign papers for the next round and to follow up um, if there's anything we can do to improve our chances for our next cycle. So, um, unfortunately, Chad got called out to work, so he is not here. You're supposed to do this appointment both together, um, but we couldn't get another appointment for over two months, which is hopefully when I would be starting my next cycle anyway. So, um, I'm going in and signing all the papers, and then when Chad is back, he'll come into the office and he'll just sign the papers, um, and I'll just translate the information that we're given today so um yeah i'm not sure how i feel about it yet i guess i'm just like okay here we go um i think my expectations were a little high for the uh this doctor's appointment last time so um i will take any notes i feel like i need to um i had a whole bunch of questions last time um, this time not so much because I feel like I understood the process uh, better this time uh, and obviously we got a much better result so today I'm just going in trying to be really open and uh, hopeful that this next round will be successful. second doctor's appointment today. I had x-rays done on Wednesday and today I had an ultrasound on my ankle because when we were in Bali I fell into the pool and banged my ankle and I uh, didn't think too much of it at the time. Sorry, the key is right in front there. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I may have had a couple of drinks uh, at the wedding when we all jumped into the pool and I slipped and banged my ankle and really hurt it. did not feel like that so we had a slight concern that might have a hairline fracture anyway so went to the doctor on Wednesday she sent me to do x-rays and follow up with the ultrasound if the x-rays are not definitive that there is a break so for now just walking the results will go to my doctor on Monday and uh, we'll find out if I have a hairline fracture. Honestly, it feels better than two days ago, so that's something. But yeah, today has been full of doctor's appointments. So now I'm going to get some lunch, go home, pick up the puppy, and then go finish cleaning my brother's place so we can finish moving out and uh, hand over the keys. Anyway, I love you guys and uh, I will update you with the results from my IVF appointment in a little bit. I am exhausted. Today has been such a long day. Um, trying to even think back, where did it start? So yeah, this morning I took Chloe for a walk, got ready to go to my IVF appointment. Um, then went to do an ultrasound on my ankle um, as a follow-up to x-rays after a fall in Bali and then after that I got lunch came home picked up Chloe took her to my brother's place and then spent four and a half to almost five hours uh, finishing cleaning up his place because I'm handing over the keys tomorrow life doesn't stop 
Um, we knew that this coming season would be full on and busy and a little bit crazy. Um, but that's life, as I said, and it just keeps coming, which is good because alternate is being dead and I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we had to pack up house. Then we went to Bali, came home, had one day packed up and moved, uh, Obviously been unpacking here, getting Chloe um, re-acclimatized to a new place, which has been a bit challenging. Um, and then Chad went to work and all the appointments and stuff. So it's been a lot, um, but it's been good. I felt like the conversation with the doctor today went well. In fact, uh, the results were better than I guess I was trying to prepare myself for. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, I didn't have a bunch of questions all written out like I did last time. Uh, this time I just went in and wanted to see the comparison to last time and then is there anything else we can do to help the embryo stick? So just recapping from last cycle, we had 10 eggs, only six of those eggs were mature, only three of those fertilized, and all three of them started to fragment at about day three. Um, and so they weren't staying together, they would fragment and they weren't really viable. So we ended up with zero embryos for transfer. This cycle, we had nine eggs um, and seven of them mature, which is much more the percentage they were hoping for of mature eggs. Uh, and five out of the seven actually fertilized. And so then from that five, we had none that continued to have me on the melatonin um, which he wants to do the three milligrams so I'm not sure if you remember in my last vlog which I will um, leave in the description if you want to go back and watch that one uh, I had this drama with getting the melatonin because the prescribed one was two milligrams had lactose in it I became very sick Pretty much I went to the acupuncturist and I got the three milligrams and that's what he wants me on, three milligrams. So that's great, I'll go back and do that. Continue with my metformin that I'm on, the prenatals, and he wants to continue me on the CoQ10. So for me, my protocol was the same. He was much happier with the way that the eggs were and the eggs look good. Um, and then for Chad, we are still wanting to improve the sperm quality, even though it is much better than last time. And obviously the fertilization um, was much higher rate. It jumped from 30% of the eggs that, to up to 70% of the eggs. So um, obviously what he was doing is working. So we're going to continue that. And both of us are going to be working on our health and fitness. Um, so instead of doing one Menivet, he's going to up that to two Menivet, which is just a men's supplement to help with sperm quality and count. And then he's going to stay on 300 milligrams of the CoQ10 as well. So um, that's good. The only other thing he did say, he being the doctor, um, is because I've done two full retrieval cycles, he really wants to give my body a bit of a rest, um, especially since we don't want me to go into hyperstimulation um, because I've got PCOS. So we 
are going to have two cycles off, which means I wouldn't be ready to start until a third cycle down the track. So we're looking at a good three months before um, we start our next cycle. Um, but three months is the right time for both egg and sperm quality. It's about that three month cycle. Um, so that's going to give both Chad and I the chance to just work on our health. I think we're both going to be aiming more at a fertility diet. So lots of leafy greens, um, healthy proteins and fats and all that kind of stuff. Um, but aside from that, I think I feel good and hopeful for next cycle. Um, I think Chad is slightly relieved that we're going to have that three months off in between. It is really full on. Um, I feel like I do pretty well on the IVF drugs when we're doing retrieval. For me, I find the progesterone and the other support drugs so much worse. <laughs> like... I feel myself just going completely hormonal, can't, like, can feel myself swinging from, I can feel myself getting out of the control, so then I try and hone it back in and be really sweet, and then it just does this extreme of, like, sweet, and then kind of crazy, and so, um, as much as my personality is, I just want to get it done and do it straight away and and get it over kind of thing. Um, I am also grateful for the wisdom of the doctors and that my body is obviously ready for a rest. So, yeah, we're going to be moving forward in a couple of months with round three. Uh, unless a miracle happens in between, which I'm always hopeful for. So, uh, guys, if you are in the middle of your um, IVF cycles, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Also, if you've had to do three retrieval cycles or more, I would really like to hear about that. I know everyone's story is personal and unique. Um, but I was a little nervous that I only got one embryo from last one that made it to day five. Um, and obviously our first cycle didn't have any. So having to do a third retrieval cycle, um, I guess I wasn't really prepared for that. I thought, oh yeah, we'd end up having to do frozen embryo transfers or FETs um, and may have to do that quite a few times. But I guess I wasn't expecting to have to do the retrieval part and the surgery part all over again. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below any tricks or tips that help you get through those full retrieval cycles. Um, I'm going to leave it there for this vlog. I love you guys. I am truly praying for you. If you have any areas that you'd like me to pray for you for or just any questions don't forget to either leave it in the comments or follow us on katie's kanga couch on facebook and then you can message me and i will get back to you as soon as i can love you guys Till